Hi guys, this is Zia Money Club here, and welcome to another video. And today's video is about managing your Pokemon storage. Your Pokemon storage is one of the most difficult things to manage, as for every Pokemon storage upgrade, it is going to be 200 Poker Coins. The maximum Pokemon storage upgrade is 2,500. But, how to use your coins wisely, that will be in another video coming out soon. Today, we're going to look at managing the storage. We're first all going to have a look at what Pokemon we should keep more of, less of, and which ones do we not need at all. We're gonna, first, we're going to go in Pokedex order. We're going to see how it goes. The first one we're going to be looking at is the Gen 1 starter. That's the Bulbasaur. Evolving into Ivysaur, Venusaur, Charmander evolving into Charmeleon, Charizard, and Squirtle evolving into War Turtle and Blastoise. For these ones, you do not need to keep more than one of each. Because Squirtle, they are not a good attacker. You will not likely use these. For the Bulbasaur's, you want to keep over really 98% and above. How do you know what IV it is? Good question. You're going to want to go to the appraise button and you're going to, want to calculate the IV. Again, there'll be another video on that soon. And also about IV checkers. I'll we'll look at that in another video. And also, we need to look at our Pokemon's CP. Nah, I'm kidding. CP is ignorant. Ignore CP. It's not ignorant. It's just ignore the CP peeps. Ignore the CP because it has no influence. The IV is what matters. This is what matters. The IV. We must also think about your team's weakness, but we'll come back to that a bit later on. We're going to want to scroll through. Same thing with Charmander. You are going to want to keep the shiny ones. Do not delete shinies. They are useful for trades. And you want to keep, obviously, the costume ones from the recent Halloween event. The Charmander with the funny hat, the Bulbasaur with the funny hair, and, of course, the Squirtle with the weird hat. The hat obviously wants to eat you. Ah. Moving, the only one you want to really look at is Charizard. Charizard is a good attacker. Its exclusive community day move was Blast Burn. Of course, you must have, you must have evolved this during the community day hours. You might get another chance to evolve it towards the end of the year in that December community day. But again, that's another video. Charizard also, Venusaur's exclusive move was not that. Was Frenzy Plant, which is quite a good grass move. And Blastoise's exclusive move was... Hydro Cannon. The same with all water type community day starters as we go on. Also with Squirtle you've got the one with the sunglasses. The shiny on the sunglasses where the poke stops were the same. Where you got that task catch five Squirtle and they gave you a sunglass Squirtle. But every, if that's if one person got a shiny from the stop, everyone got the shiny from the stop. And that was a pretty cool day. Of course, Blastoise, you never use it. Moving on to, you got Caterpie and Cocoon. I haven't got... Cat Caterpie, of course, Metapod and Butterfree. They are useless. You want to just keep your best one. And, of course, if you're like me, you manage to accumulate a shiny Caterpie. Cool. Keep the shinies. As I always say, never delete shinies. I've only kept one Butterfree because, of course. We're now going to have a look at... Beedrill, it's useless. Again, only keep your best one. Same with Pidgey and Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. We've also got Rattata, same thing Rattata, Rattata, Kate, and Alone Rattata, Rattata, They're all useless. Same with Spiro and Firo. This is the same thing with Ekans and Arbok. Now we come to the biggest problem from Niantic, the costume Pikachus. We see lots of them. What do we do with them all? I recommend keeping them all. 
keep them all. The reason why I say keep them all is some people, they will not have a party at Pikachu. They may say to you, hey mate, you have a party at Pikachu. They will give you something valuable in your trades. We're going to have another video about trading soon also. Of course, you've got your Mimikyu Pikachu. You've got your Santa hat. You've got your party hat. You've got your Ash hat. You've got... You've got your winter hat, you've got your, no, not winter, Halloween hat, you've got your straw hat, you've got your, whatever this is, the black hat, let's call it, it's probably got a name, the flower hat, the detective Pikachus, the summer Pikachu, and the enorm, and then we have a look at, we also want to have one of each, so you want to evolve your Pikachu into your Raichu, also Raichu, you want to have a shiny Raichu, like this. Also, you can have Raichus with just... And an, an like to keep... Also, so we've got this Legacy Raichu moves. So, you want to also have a look at dates. The older Pokemon you want to trade, because of their lucky capability. Now, we've got Sanctuary, same thing as the Pidgeys, the Beedrills, no use. Nido Queen, same thing, never use them. So it's Clefairy, Ninetales, Wig. Now we come to Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff. Now keep Wigglytuffs. They are good for gyms. You want for gyms things with low C, low CP, high HP. We're gonna go to what gym defenders are another episode. But gym defenders, low CP, high HP, stuff like Wigglypuffs, your Chanceys, your Whelmers, low CP, high HP, same. Thing. But we got Oddishes, Rubbish, Venena, Venomoths. Now we come to Doug Trio, Doug Trio, Doug Trio, Loading, Doug Diglett, and Diglett, Doug Trio, Loading, Diglett, and Loading, Doug Trio, useless. You never use them, but you always want to keep them. Because, I mean, don't keep them. To keep your best ones of these ones. Then you've got your, as it's Halloween, it's cool, made my buddy, like, little. Persian, like I'm a Giovanni, but no. He got Psyduck. Now you come to Arcanine. It's Croquet, so just keep. Now we come to ones that you actually want to use. Polyrath. You got Poly, Poliwag, Polyrath, and Politoed. Power Up Punch. It depends if you like PvP, but Power Ups will give you an attack boost or defense. I don't know. Not confirmed. I think it's attack. But Poly, if you're into a PvP, Polyrath is a good one. Again, I'm not into PvP at all, so don't ask me about PvP things. Now you've got Alakazam, it's always a good one. Alakazam is always a good attacker. It's always the, it's one of the best psychic types with Mewtwo. You, it's nearly as good as Mewtwo. You want, I've got 300%, I've actually got 4 fun in the way, okay, that's a Kadabra, probably just for, just a, cause it's probably another noob, and you've got this 4 set, complete, complete, same thing as my champs, they are good for your blissies and gyms, people put blissies in gyms, they are good for G, they are good for fighting, fighting types, and of course with the, they are fighting types are always useful, so I always say keep your fighting types, again we've got Bellsprout, I keep the devil 666, we've got, the rubbish. Let me come to Golem. It's always a good one, Golem, for when you're battling fly flying types. Rocks are your best option, and same as Golem and the Lowland Golem. You want to keep them all. Keep them. They are good f for attacking. They are got high HP. Some of them, not really. They are good. Now you got your mag. Magnemite rubbish, but evolution is good. We'll come back to that. Ponytail slowbro rubbish, and you got your regionals. You got your far fetched. They are really good for keeping, as they as you always may need a far fetched. You always may need a far fetched. Why? Don't know. They're good for keeping some of my one ones I haven't played during the 7km eggs event. I'm a, I'm a UK person, so I would I don't get many I don't get far fetched here. 
so far fetched, of course you got your if don't keep your regions regional. So mine Mr. Mime, I just trash them, they're rubbish. Never got a shiny Mr. Mime, uh, that's the conversation for another video. Dojo and Dodrio, rubbish. Same as do now I love my Logan Mac. I've i powered up the Max, given it free moves. I absolutely love it. It's underrated, but I love it for raids. I absolutely use this loads this muck. So your Lola Mux, you want to get a good one. Muck, no Muck, not so good. Then you got Sheldon, Cloyster, Rubbish. Then you got Gengar. Gengar is always a good ghost attacker. We love Gengar. It's the original best ghost. So your Garcies and Haunter, if you haven't got a good one, trade them. Same with Geodude and Chop. Trade the trade what you haven't got. Maybe try and get a lucky friend. More on that on another video. But you want to trade. Of course, when we had that Gengar event, we had Lick and Psychic. Psychic is trash, but I just keep it because it's exclusive. But Lick is good. And Hypno Rubbish, you got your Kingler, your Crab, your Kingler, your Voltor. Executor. Now we look at Executor. It's a good grass attacker. And it's like, it's not great. We do use Executor, but you've got things like Skeptile and Venusaur even that I find better. I never really use them. Some people do. And the same with Alone Executor, they're okay, but Dragon Attackers, you can have the better. Just ignore that. It was just having a joke with someone with that name, but you've got your Cubone, your Alolan, Cubone Marowak, and Alolan Marowak. Of course, you've got your Cubone Conspiracy Feeling of Kangas. Theory of Kangaskhan, another video, but they're not that good. I've never used it's it's a it's a it's, a, it's an okay thing for PvP these Marowax. Of course they've got a, also a wide variety and it's also shiny possibility. Never got that one. Now just th that I then we got your Hitmon Lees and Hitmon Chan, also Hitmon Top later on. They are great. They are fighting attackers. You want to keep the fighting for the gyms. Always. You got Licky Tongue here. Okay, Licky Lily. Never used it. Never had one. Haven't got a good Licky Tongue ever. But it's quite a good Pokemon. Okay? Good. Now you got your Weezing, Coughing, Weezing, Rubbish. And then you got Rhydon. Rhydon is very good as a Pokemon. I quite like Rhyhorn, is even good. Rhydon is brilliant. And Rhyperia is God. You always have to have your Rhyperias. They are useful. We'll come back to Rhyperia a bit on later. Chansey, I actually say every chance you get, never delete a Chansey. I made this mistake. Don't delete Chanseys. They are gym gods. They are your gym gods, those Chanseys. Kangas Gun, same thing with the far fetched. You want to keep them. You got Horsey and Cedra. They have not got an egg on there. Horsey and Cedra, they are quite good. I mean, they're quite bad. Starmie, it's an, uh, it's an okay water and psychic attacker. It does look kind of cool, but nah, not really. Mr. Mime never got a shiny one. I'm not going to mention about that on a video, but yeah. Then you got Cypher. Great. I love a little Cypher. Love a bit of Cypher there. It's Cypher and Sizzle, a very good Pokemon. I love them. Jinx, okay. Electro Buzz is good on its own. Electrovire is a beast. It's a great electric attacker up there with Raikou and Zapdos. Great. Same with Magma. Up there is a fire attacker with Moltres. Entei. Arcanine. Great fire attacker. Pinsir, absolute rubbish. Taurus, same situation with Farfetch'd, Mr. Mime. Magikarp. I got. I think I got 9 or 10 shinies. I can't stop getting shiny Magikarps. Gyarados is a beast. Lapras also got 200s from Lucky Trades. Brilliant. Brilliant Pokemon Lapras. A great Ice Attacker. Up there with Articuno. Then you got Ditto. The rubbish looking blob of goo. Yeah. Eevee. You want to keep one shiny Eevee for Silver when it comes around in Generation 6. Keep your Eevees. Also, you've got Flower Crown Eevee in the research. This is the last week of Flower Crown Eevee, so get those rubbishy Flower Crown Eevees. You've got Vaporeon. It's a very good water attacker. Not as good as Kyogre, but it's a good one. You've got Jolteon. Great. Flareon. Brilliant. Fire attacker. Up there. Up there. Omastar and Kabutops. They're really good. 
I find Omastar great. I don't find Kabutops as good, but I, I maybe because maybe because I just haven't bothered power up my hundred. I don't know. I powered up my ninety one, not my hundred. Don't ask me. I was a noob. I've given it more rubbish. Aerodactyl never got a train run. Got the hundred two ninety eight. Electro is okay, but it's not as good as Rock Attacker as Golem. Snorlax. That's all I'm going to say. Articuno. Now we come to the legendaries. With the legendaries, you want to keep your best three or four. Obviously, I haven't done that with this one because I'm, I need to clear them out. In fact, yeah, that can go. But we need... Nice. But we really, you really need to clear your legendaries out. I'm going to do a video where I just start going through these. Zapdos, same thing. Zapdos is a beast. Electric attacker. I love Zapdos. I absolutely love it as electric attacker. Same with... It's a great one. Same with Moltres. Fire attacker. Best one. I find it a tiny bit better. But Moltres is a beast. Maybe because I've got 100% in. I think I've got 100% in. Maybe, I don't know. Just talking rubbish here, mates. Now, the teeny and drag. Dragonite is a beast. Beast. It's not the best Dragonite type attack when you've got Rayquaza up there. And we'll talk about Rayquaza a bit later in the video. But Dragonite is a... Now you've got the Mewtwo. The Mewtwo. I never delete it. Don't delete the Mewtwo. Who needs the Mewtwo? Rubbish people. Mewtwo's are great. Because you've got your side strike. Of try and get the EX raid passes to get the Shadow Ball Mewtwo. It is a brilliant ghost attacker. It's I said Gengar is the best. Mewtwo is better than Shadow Ball. And it's a psychic type. Psychic type is a great move. It's got great psychic attacker up there with Alakazam. Brilliant. But Mewtwo as a ghost attacker is brilliant. Now Got a lot of meters, of course. You got you got hyper beam, then you got armor Mewtwo. It's rubbish. I never use it. It's just it's just an it's just an armor. It looks stupid. But with your armored Mewtwo's, you're going to want to use them wisely. Trade them. Have a bit of use with them. They are cool looking. Mew. You're gonna delete it. Just a Mew. Now a video will do a Mew bit. Then we come to Chikorita. Same thing as Bulbasaur. Just apply the same. Then you got these Pichu. Same situation as Pikachu. Just keep watching the video. I'm not gonna read that. Babies. We come to your babies here. You got Cleffa. You got Igglyruff. You got Smoochum. You got Azumil. You got Togepi. They are rubbish. Babies are rubbish. Togetic is not bad. Togetic is a god. We of course like Togetic as our fairy attacker. We've got Natu and Zatu. Nice Pokemon. I love a bit of Natu. I love a bit of Zatu. Yeah, baby. Then you've got... Our Ampharos. It's a brilliant. I love it. Maybe because it's got a good one. Shout out to Camille Rogers Nelson. Who hooked me up with this. Ampharos. Shout out to him. He is a brilliant guy. He just gave me this... And for us, I've used it. It's lucky. Lucky Pokemon called Half Sellers. Thank you. Thank you. Now we come on to these rubbish, 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 rubbish. A Pom, M B Pom's rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. Yama, Yamega is a beast bug. I find Sizzle better, but I still like my Yamas. Espeon, it's a, it's a psychic attacker. We have so many of those generating around. I don't really use it. Then we come on to our. Uh, Devi Crow, it's a Murkrow, Honk Crow is quite not a good dark, I find Taranta is the best dark attacker. Then you've got Sloking, then you've got un Unknowns. Unknowns is a difficult one, so we're going to talk about it for a bit. You've got all these different types of letters unknown. You've got your unknown T, your U, your P, your D, and, your, and you get them out of the, and they're always very good. For trading, trading, people want unknowns, they are generically good, they are brilliant, they are useless Pokemon, but they are Pokedex fillers. Your unknowns are brilliant. Wobbuffet, brilliant gym defender, my heart goes out to Wobbuffet today, it is the best 
gym defender ever. I love you, I'm a fed. Okay, brilliant. Giraffering, rubbish, pint of photos, rubbish. Dan's bath, it just looks like a Dan. Dan. Dance hat, English Victorian reference. If you're not English, then just ignore me. Glygar and Glyscore. Glygar, we'll come back to Glyscore a bit later on. But Glygar is worth keeping and trading. Remember, if you haven't got Glygar, always trade. I find trading good. I'm going to do trading session videos where I'm just trading and showing you the capabilities of trading. Steelix, mass. Brilliant Pokemon. It's a steel type. It's the best steel type. That's why it's called Steel X. Steel. Steel. Get the message, people. Snubble and Gramble. Gramble is actually a not bad fairy attacker. I quite like Gramble, but it's also fairing it up there as a dark and fairy attacker in the fairy type. Crawfish rubbish. And we've got our steel with X scissor in PV in Ultra League. Or whatever league you're using for Sizzle. It is a beast. Absolute beast. Sizzle, great boy. Shuckle. No, no. Shout out to Brandmeister for giving me the Heracross. Hooking me up on that. Heracross is not a bad bug and fighting attacker. I never used it because my one is trash. I thank, I thank Brad for getting me one. He also went to Orlando. I also stayed lazily in England. But thank you, Bradmeister, for giving me that. Sneasel will come back to him. You see, Gen, Gen 4 with Revival. Ursaring Rabbit, same as Makaga. Swine will come back to with Mama Swine. Corsa, same situation with your Kangaskans, your Farfetch'd, your Mr. Mimes, your Tauruses. Daily Bird. Now, you only get Daily Bird at Christmas time. It's a cute Pokemon. I've never got a shiny one, as most things you'll find out in my videos. But I love a bit of Daily Bird. You may not, I love a bit of Daily Bird. Keep your Daily Birds, because. People who can't play at Christmas for whatever reasons will want to get a daily bird from you. Mantine rabbit, I got so many good. Now we come to Skarmory is getting a shiny soon. It's a good PvP, but PvP is not my thing. So what someone else you want PvP? I'm not your PvP guy, someone else is. Now we look at Houndoom. Houndoom is a brilliant. It's a fire and dark. It's fares up as fire attacker, it fares down. Houndoom is a dark attacker. It's up there with Vitaranta. And I'm not joking right now. I maxed out my 100. I did max that out. But yes. Kingdra absolute trash. Then you got Domfan. Domfan. I've had it since I started. I love a bit of Domfan. Me. I, I know it's rubbish. I read, But I've loved my Domfan. It's I just love a Dom fan. Polygon 2 rubbish. We'll come back to Polygon Z when we're later. Stand the rubbish. And we get to our Smeagles. They are rubbish. They can copy moves. They are rubbish. Rubbish. Let's make rubbish. This is going to be a long video. Then we come to Tyro and hit him on top. Rubbish. Remember, always listen to the beginning of the video with my Bulbasaur guide. Keep that. If I say rubbish, use that guide. Use that guide. You got Smoochum and Lekid. I l Smoochum evolves into Jinx. It's a Jinx is an okay ice attacker. So I would do a few Smoochums, but not worry about Jinx too much. You have things like Articuno, which are better. Of course, we come to Elekid. These ones you want to trade to get good Electra Buzzes, Electra Vires, Magmars, and Magmortars, because they are, of course, up there. Now, Miltank. I'm going to look at why I've got so many Miltank now. They are rare. You may not consider them as rare, but they are. Always keep Miltanks and keep them for those low level players who want your Miltanks. They want to steal the milk from Miltanks. Blissey. Don't put Blissey in gym, guys. It is a slow mover. Don't put Blissey in gym. Okay, guys? Yeah, cool. Cool, guys. Cool. Chill out. A bit. Raikou. Shout out to Borat, 50 cow. Leon, who caught this Raikou for me when I was just started. I had no idea how to catch it. He caught it for me. He took on that responsibility. I thank him. And for all that day, I always rate Raikou as the best electric attacker. That's how I rate Raikou. I rate it. 
Entei. I've always loved an Entei. Always been the Entei fan. I find Moltres a bit better. I think I'm contradicting myself. But Moltres is a bit better. But I actually quite like Entei. Suicune is, is a pile of trash. You got your Lavatars, you got your Pupitas, and you've got the best one, Tyranitar. I put my heart out to Tyranitar today, as it's a good one. It's a good Dark Attacker, it's a good Rock Attacker with Smackdown, it's a good Rock, best Rock, along with Golem, good Attacker. And you've got it as a Dark Attacker for Mewtwo Psychic Type Fades. Psychic Type Lugia, absolute powerhouse for Psychic Type. It's a lovely Psychic Type up there with Alakazam and Mewtwo. Absolutely love it. Can't specify that. I love Lugia. I know someone, my friend got a hundred percent shiny Lugia. I am jealous. That's Sin's Avenge. Shout out to him. Now, Ho Ho. Ho Ho. It's an okay one. It's Fire Flying. We see Fire Type. We see Flying Type. It's not the best one, but it could be better. I do love a nice Ho Ho. Not as good as others. Now you got your Celebi. Mythical's gonna do a whole other video on Mythical's. No other video. Wait for that later. Now you got your Streakos. I love Skeptile. Brilliant Grass Attacker. I actually rate it. I rate Skeptile as one of the best Grass Attackers. I rate it. Now you got Blaziken. A brilliant. It's a brilliant fire attacker and an absolutely even better fighting type. I love it to bits. Then you've got Mudkip and Swampert, a brilliant ground attacker. Not so good water, but a brilliant grass attacker. Then you've got your Mighty Hyena rubbish and you've got your Beautifly, you've got your Ludicolo, it's a nice dancer. But not such a good Pokemon. Some people like it. I know, I know, like Ludicolo loves. I'm not one of those. It's a fan favourite, but it's not a good Pokemon. Shift Tree. It's a great grass tagger. It's not as good as Skeptile, but it's still good. And it's, it's a dark attacker. It doesn't rate up with Tarantar. And doesn't rate up with other dark attackers. And you've got Wingo and Pelipo. And you, now you've got, we're coming to Gardevoir. Here. God of War is a brilliant fairy attacker. I love it. It's got charm. It's a charming Pokemon. It's the best fairy attacker. I'm rating it over everything. I love a God of War. It's not a good psychic attacker, but who cares? Focus on the fairy with God of War there. Breloom! We're gonna come to Breloom. It is the best with Grass Knot. It is one of the best Grass Tags up there with Skeptile. And up there with Shiftery. Up there with everything else I've said as a Grass Attacker. And my mind has gone blank. But. You've got to love Breloom. Slack off. Don't put slack in games. That's all I'm saying. Thank you. Moving on. Ninjas and Shedinja. It's a cool Pokemon. Nin Ninkada you can't get it. It was a bug exclusive. I think you get it in 10k eggs. But it's not a good a bug attack. I'll come to my feet in a minute. It's just not a good bug attacker. It's okay. Of course, the ginger is rubbish. It's got 10 HP. Makarita and Hariyama. They are fighting types. Use my Machamp guides for them. Nose Pass will come back to that when we do Probo Pass. Delcati rubbish. Now we've got Sableye here. We've got our dear love of Sableye. It's a very good Pokemon for PvP again. I'm not a PvP guy, although I will become one just for that Sableye. Yeah. Now we're going into my while. Oh my gosh, it's been a while since I've cared about that one. Agron. I know a friend called it. No, Agron, please. He really hates Agron. That's, that is Nathan. Shout out to him. Now, Medicham, it's a good PvP, I've heard. Not a PvP guy again, so don't listen to me about PvP. Now, you've got Plasol, you've got Minum, you've got Volbeat, and you've got your Illumise. You've got your Illumise. I love a bit of Illumise. I found it brilliant for PvP with, with of course, Struggle Bug and Dazzling Gleam. That's my PvP god. 
I always use that for PvP. Thanks to everyone who has traded me Illumise over the years. I absolutely love them. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Now, Roselia. We'll come back to that with Rose Raid. You got your gold pin. Rubbish, rubbish. Now, Wilma, I rated as a gym defender. Camera, rubbish. We got... And we're going to now come to Torkal, same thing. Thanks to Jonathan EX for hanging me up for that one. He obviously went to Dubai. I didn't go to Dubai. He did. Thank you. Thank you. My voice is getting stopped when I was talking. This is going to be a very long video. Spin that. We have a little spinning problem here. We've got all these forms. I keep spin that. You keep spin that. Everyone must keep spin the goddess. Got this shiny in my first research task. I am thankful to spin the gods for that. We're going to have a look at our trap pinch, our most recent, I think it's our most recent community trap pinch community day. Of course, it won't be when you're watching this probably, but yeah. I don't use Falcon, I don't rate it. Cacturn, don't rate it as a dark attacker, nor do I rate Swablu, nor do I rate any of these things. Their regionals keep them. Of course, there's a Viper, and we'll try, we'll try to get that regional shiny for that 10,000 kilometre task. I end up going on Australian Discord and actually adding people. And then now my lifelong friends keeping those distance Pokemon. I always advise keeping distance Pokemon. Now, if you got this final disc in the video, there is a Discord link down below. Join it. Become part of the Zero Money Club. Soul Rock. It's a regional. Keep it. Wow, I'm going to have to talk about Wish Cash in a different way. I love Wish Cash! It is brilliant. It's a brilliant ground type. It's mud bomb. It's actually <laughs> so good. Of course, I thank Zero Money Nine for trading me that. Quidilia got him sent. I've actually never used this. I I thought I'd use it. Kidding my mind, of course. When I was trying to get my Mewtwo shiny, I've called that not Mewtwo. But I mean, if an Armado, not good ones. You got Milotic. If some people rate it, I don't. I don't rate it as a water attacker. You've got Kyogre as a brilliant. Now you come back to your cast forms. I say your normal ones delete, shiny ones and many ones delete, but always keep your I see your foggy cast forms. They are brilliant. Now we come to Burnett. And it's brilliant. I love it. I don't really, nah. Tropius is brilliant with... Where's the one? With Leaf Blade. Thank you for whoever traded me that. That was a brilliant trade. Chimeco rubbish. Absol. You always want to get that shiny Absol. Of course, your, your dude got it. I called it Red Dude. And Absol, I've got him. And got good ones. Never use them. They are not a dark. You got your talent half for your dark attacker. It's all getting dark outside because it's because of winter saving times. I, I hate that. But now we're gonna get to the end of the video as this is gonna be a two part video as I've been talking for ages. The two part, the second part will be coming straight after this. So you actually won't have to wait very long. But I need a voice break, I'm for sure you need a watching break. Go and have a tea, go and have a biscuit, get get ready for the second part. Of course, Discord link down below. Also, there will be an Instagram link down below. Everything is gonna be down below. Read the description, have a nice life. Thank you, I've been the Zimoni Club. Goodbye.